How y'all guys? This is Joey. I know a lot of you guys have been saying get a new microphone, get a new camera. I'm working on it, but right now I spent my last dollar getting to the World Cup, and uh, so right now money's an issue. Maybe I'll do a uh, what's it called GoFundMe thing, but I don't want to ask you guys for a bunch of money. So anyway, big thanks to Math Guy on the Discord. Hey guys, if you're not on the Discord, I don't know what's wrong with you. Check out the Discord. We're gonna be doing this uh, article here. But I got this idea from Math Guy over on the Discord. You can talk to Math Guy too directly if you join our Discord. Go to my uh, biography and you can find the link to the Discord. Join that. But we're going to be talking about this article here. Uh, basically, Math Guy tried to find any and everything uh, in English that talked about United States historic win over Bangladesh. And you're damn sure not going to find anything from American media. That's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. <sighs> So here's the closest thing, a news report in English from India, and we're going to go over it and see what about it is good, what about it is bad, because even India media might not know the ins and outs of USA Cricket. Uh, I've been following it very closely. I've been following it very closely on Pita de la Pena's page. Um, you can check it out. Um, man, he's got some hot takes in here, some very hot takes, um, all about how horrible our uh, organization is and shit like that. So check it out. Uh, I highly recommend it because that's where I get a bulk of my opinions from about uh, USA cricket. So we're going to start this video. The United States of America is a sporting giant when it comes to leagues and league based sport like the NFL, MLS or the NBA. They dominate the Olympics. They have superstar athletes. The one sport you can't quite associate with them just yet is cricket. That's left them stumped for decades now. So you think. This week, the USA cricket team did something special. They beat Bangladesh, an established cricketing nation, back to back in a T20 series. The 19th ranked side has clinched a T20 series against the 9th ranked Bangladesh side. With the T20 World Cup set to be co-hosted by the United States and the West Indies next month, is this the perfect curtain raiser to cricket's expansion in the Americas? Has T20 cricket leveled the playing field? Man, that was some good, um... That was some good intro there. Lots of plays on words. Man, if I saw a news like this in the United States, it'd be awesome. Cricket in the Americas was majorly famous through the Caribbean islands and the West Indies is a symbol of that. The old West Indies team that were the powerhouse of the sport from the early 70s to the late 90s, or the two-time T20 World Cup champion side mm. that had flamboyant cricketers like Chris Gale, Darren Sami, Kieran Pollard and others. But the expansion of the sport, getting it across to the United States, had never materialized. An attempt was made with an exhibition T20 oh series God. in New York in 2015 between Sachin Tendulkar's team and Shane. You guys remember that um, series that they used the baseball fields and they still had the dirt from the baseball fields? What was that called? The um, the field that they that they used. I got blow blow that up. I'm terrible field, and it wasn't like circular at all. I mean, if you have to get it done, you have to get it done. But like, this is ridiculous. That would throw me off. That's like when they play rugby games and they have all the American football markings on there. It's like really hard to watch. It throws you off. This even more so. Yeah, don't like it. There was an attempt though. And Shane Warner's there, so. The biggest move now is the T20 World Cup set to take place in the Americas next month. If you thought the buzz is missing with all the pomp and show being taken up by the IPL, then just take a look at Team USA. They have stunned Bangladesh, a seasoned cricket side, not once, but twice in a T20 series in the lead-up to the World Cup. A team once relegated to the sidelines are now stepping onto the world stage with a fervor that's impossible to ignore. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, in the 2023 World Cup qualification, we lost every game by a lot, kind of. Um, we haven't played a T20 international since 2022. And in both the games, the United States showed different skill sets to prove their victory was no flash okay, in the pan. Jesse. In the second T20 match, the U.S. showed what a tight bowling unit they possess. After posting 144 runs on the board, quite an average score by the current T20 Beautiful. standards, bowling duo of Ali Khan and Shadley Van Shalquik holds Bangladesh out for 138 runs, beating them by the narrowest of margins, six runs, to clinch the series. Oh, yeah. And in the first match, it was their batting that came to the fore. Despite being 94 for 5 in 15 overs, 
former Kiwi player Corey Anderson and former India under-19 player Harmeet Singh staged a super comeback for the U.S. They stitched a 62-run stand for the sixth wicket to take U.S. home. So clearly, the rise of T20 cricket has been a game-changer for smaller cricketing nations. It's provided them with a platform to showcase their skills and compete against the best in the world. The U.S. played their first ODI match in 2004, but they haven't been a regular feature in international fixtures. Cricket I mean, we, we, we used to be a huge cricketing nation well, for the times in the 1800s, and then baseball took over by the, like the 1920s. It's pretty much remained an amateur sport in the U.S. The focus was still baseball. And the sport took a hit when the ICC suspended the USA Cricket Association in 2015. Yes, that was the first time um, expelled, I think is the right word. That's the USACA. Now our organization is called the USC. So it's a different board. So if this one gets expelled, I mean, we've been suspended multiple times, but like permanently like banned, like expelled, like get out of here. Like that happened once in 2015. And I hope it happens again with this one. This board is just horrible. Um, even worse than, I mean, because they're running it like amateurs. The, it, cricket has been an amateur sport in this country for a long time because it's run like it's an amateur sport. Um, Express concerns about their finances and their governance. The national team could still compete, but the funding from the ICC for the growth of the sport came to a grinding halt. It was only in 2019 that a new sanctioning body known as USA Cricket was officially admitted by the ICC as a fresh associate member. Which is why the T20 World Cup coming up is extremely crucial for the country. But cricket's growth here isn't just about the game growing, it's about the stories it inspires, the dreams it ignites and the bonds it creates. Many of the players playing in the squad have either Indian or Pakistani roots. Some of them are former international players who have played for other countries, like Corey Anderson. He represented New Zealand in 97 international matches. New Zealand. Or Harmeet Singh, who played for India under 19 before making his move to the States. And several other players like Monank Patel, Saurabh Netra Valkar, Ali Khan. Much like the country, the USA cricket team is a multi-diverse melting pot of international players. They made their yeah, I don't think it's a, it's just Pakistani and uh, Indian descent people. You have Corey Anderson, Andres House, um, Stephen uh, Taylor, Aaron Jones. I mean, we got lots of talent. Slim Shade, Slim Slim uh, Slim Shadley, Van Chalquick. I mean, we got a lot. Uh, even even not on this team, but who I've represented the USA in the past. So. Move to the states to fulfill ambition, find you need to live in dreams out of their native country. But the thing is, you have to develop a program to get people who aren't from those communities that are born in the United States. You have to develop a like a you have to develop a system like that system exists in soccer, totally exists. There are people who are born and raised in the United States that get into soccer because they're Americans. You know what I mean? They might be Latino, they might be white, they might be black, whatever the case is, but they get into soccer because of um, they like soccer and there's a system in the United States to get into. The same thing with rugby even. And you have the same problems with rugby where you have a lot of people from other countries and they come in, but there are uh, Native Americans, I guess you could say, who play rugby. Um, it's not really the right word, Native Americans, but that's what I'm asked all the time about cricket. We're not even close to getting that in cricket um i think there's just a, a handful in the minor league system um and that is because of how the systems run on an, like with amateur goggles on the, the way the systems run is horrible so i'm happy for these wins but I'd, I'd be happier for a better system but with cricket's rise is it really changing the native u.s audience are the locals as excited and involved in cricket coming home I don't know why people are excited because it's not like uh, going to the U.S. and going to the, uh, you know, the actual Americans who have never seen cricket before or, you know, it's actually, it will be all the Indian and the Asian and the cricketing countries diaspora that will be watching cricket. So it's not like it's going to U.S. where you see, you know, the Americans who have followed basketball or um, American football and baseball will be suddenly the audience for a cricket match. I mean, you could take that a step further. 
the Rugby World Cup is coming to the United States, I think, in 2032. And there will be a lot more um, Native Americans who watch that. I went to see the All Blacks, New Zealand's team, play the United States American team. There were a lot of homegrown Americans who went to that game. It was like 20,000 people in the FedEx uh, arena or FedEx stadium in Washington, D.C., where I went. Um, and yeah, you're not going to have that in cricket because it takes time to grow. You have to grow it like from the ground up or, or you have to like, you have to uh, invest time and, and run cricket as a professional organization. I talked about Peter De La Pena and I just, he's so important. He's the only journalist that talks about cricket in the United States. Look at this post that he says here, and this will give you a good idea. We just released our jerseys. Uh, we just released the American jerseys. Yesterday during a baseball game, Monak Patel threw out the first pitch. Um, so here you have um, Monak Patel throwing out the first pitch at, at the Houston Astros game. And you can see they are showcasing the jersey, which is good to make those ties between baseball and cricket. The same thing happens with rugby and American football um, and to a lesser extent rugby and soccer. So you have to do that because that's how you make connections and stuff. Let's read this post from Peter De La Pena and see how... Our governing body did a horrible job at this. Peter de la Pena says, uh, congratulations to USA Cricket for telling none of the regular media who cover USA team that Captain Monak Patel was going to throw out the first pitch at a Houston Astros game until two days after the game finished between the Astros and Angels on Wednesday afternoon. Also, for the baseball illiterate buffoons at USA Cricket, it's the ceremonial first pitch not first ceremonial pitch. And Monak threw said pitch from off the pitcher's mound, not from central center field. Morons. That's a pretty harsh language. Um, could you imagine somebody just using that type of language uh, when you first meet them? You know, like that's so harsh, dude. But he has good reason to do this. L this is a press release from USA Cricket. And I mean, this is what they write. The unveiling ceremony took place before the start of Houston, Houston Astros game against Los Angeles on Wednesday this week with the USA team captain Monak Patel honored by throwing the first ceremonial pitch from the center field. What? What? It makes no sense. They they are incompetent. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. And so this is a big reason why you need a diverse group of people on that. It reads, and no offense, because I teach, I speak multiple languages. Okay. So I'm, there's no judgment here. Okay. There's no judgment here, but it looks like the person who wrote that doesn't speak English as a first language. And that's totally fine. But you need people on your team that speak English as a first language or have a really good command of the language that can proofread that and that can tell you and that understand American sports and that can be like, no, it's a, it's a ceremonial first pitch. You have to have that order in English. So it just looks like it's a rushed job. Like Peter De La Pena said, it was two days after the event happened. He's basically the premier uh, USA cricketing journalist, so he should cover that. He's in Texas from what I understand. Uh, maybe he's not, but he's going to cover it. They don't tell people when this happens. We can't cover it. And so there's missed opportunity after missed opportunity after missed opportunity after missed opportunity. This is why the USA cricket is going to be suspended immediately after the um, – conclusion of the World Cup because of horrible governance. So you could talk about, yay, the World Cup, and it's never going to grow. It's basically just taking a World Cup and just dropping it in the physical location of the United States. It's almost like an embassy. Like you take, um, you take the Indian embassy and it's like a little bit of India uh, in the United States, in Washington, D.C., right? This is like a cricket embassy. It's a little bit of cricket, but all the outside of the stadium, outside everywhere else, it, it's not. There's no cricketing ha happening anywhere outside of it. And that's that's wrong. It should be like an environment of cricket, people from cricketing teams coming to the games, youth organizations talking about it. Hey, you're going to go to the World Cup? But the tickets are sold at an ex exorbitantly high price so people can't go to it. There's so many things wrong. Maybe the same week, their own team making all the rights ahead of their home and with the ever cricket in the format and the game changing, one thing is clear. It's a great level. No team is a giant and no side is an under. And USA will want to die. I love the players though. 
Sirs Post reports from the world's second largest continent. To the polls on the 29th of May. Me every week. Oh, wow. So there you have it. That's the end of the, um, just ends abruptly there. There's a lot of problems with the USA cricket. Um, and that there's a lot of people smarter than me commenting on it. So I put those uh, sources in my bio on YouTube and you should absolutely text, uh, check them out. The only thing is I don't think they're making YouTube videos and that's why I cover it on, on here so you guys can get some information on it. <sighs> I'm more of a silly bitch, you know, I'm more of a silly guy, um, but it's disheartening. It really is. And, and I've worked in rugby. Um, I've worked in, you know, rugby teams too. I come from a rugby background and um, as bad as rugby is, is organized, sometimes they do it right in so many ways. I remember, you know, or, old glory DC, the players coming to the youth organizations, um, going to the games as a team, um, getting swag gear from the teams. And, you know, the Washington Freedom don't even play in Washington. They, I'm not even sure if they've been to Washington, D.C. It would be entirely unnecessary. The season lasts like two weeks. So it's just a little shitty, you know, that's all. I shouldn't be swearing like that, but it's disheartening. This kind of turned into another video rather than just watching that one. But um, so be it. Check out this channel, all all World Cup longs. We're going to be covering all of it. If you like Associate Nation cricket, this is the place to be, baby. All right, I'm out of here. All right, go. I'm out. See ya. Why are you still here? Go, 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 go. I'm out of here. Bye.